Pixel and Lua Foundation Friday. Although it is 4th of July when I'm shooting this, I picked up my Born This Way foundation and concealer. If you watch my cash or pass video, then you saw that this is something that I said I was going to cash on. I went down to Sephora and picked it up. Also in the cash or pass video, I did break down some of the properties and some of the claims of this foundation. As well as a little bit in this video, but this video is strictly about the review. So I finished my makeup about 4 p.m. It is now almost seven but this is going to be a true wear test because it's fourth of july and i'm going out so we're going to see just how well born this way holds up and give y'all a tea so All let's right, get into, into this foundation review the highly anticipated long-awaited collab with Too Faced and Jackie Ina. Um, if you looked at my cash or pass, I did say I wanted to cash on these items. And I also gave the properties in these items. I have my foundation in the shade Maple. And I have Mocha for my concealer. And I did test these in Sephora. And I will say swatch them and let them dry down. Because I think I had chestnut first in the foundation. And... Going back to highlight, it was like match my skin so well that it wouldn't have been a highlight shade. So I went to Maple because I like my foundation to have a little warmth in it, y'all. And like I stated before, Hydrolonic Acid and Rose Alpine infuse these foundations. That's the standout ingredient. Um... Also, as water is your active ingredient. Now, one thing about this foundation I did see is it's very hydrating as well as the concealer. So, I'm combo oily and I'm going to give a wear test. Um, my oily girls, um, even with a mattifying primer, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not oily, so I can't test it. You would have to test it on your own. Now, I will say my primer of choice, I went with my little hidden gem, which is my Neutrogena sunscreen, 85 proof. Don't ask me why 85, but it works. And what the sunscreen does is that particular sunscreen, it does not have a purple blue cast. It dries down and give a sticky consistency so I notice how my foundation locks onto it and then my most famous Dr. Brandt in the T-zone. Now this is a real technique buffing brush and I'm just going in and just stippling that foundation into the skin and it's not super matte where you have to rush and do this side and that side. That's not the case what I'm experienced at all. It looks very hydrating and very inviting. Um, Dr. Brands is a very, 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 very dry matte primer, but it's more so for pore filling. I don't use it as an all over primer. I just put it in my high pore area, which happens to be my T-zone. So I have, this is the foundation. You get one full ounce. This is a maple. This is how I'm looking and it's drying down. I went in with a brush because water is the active ingredient, meaning a sponge would soak it up a little too much. Now I am going to go back with the sponge to make sure that everything is packed in and blend in. And we're getting medium coverage. I'm not going to go back with a second layer. That's not, you know, really my thing. You know, if I have full coverage, I have full coverage, but I really don't have to have that. But I'm getting real glowy skin like and I'm combo oily and, and I like that. On to the concealer. Now I zoomed in some for the concealer portion of it and again I have my, found my concealer in the shade Maple. Now the concealer you do get, let's see, you're like three, like maybe a point ounce shy of getting one full ounce as well as you have one ounce in the foundation now i will say this shade reminds me of caramel and the nars creamy radiant that i love and i knew this by testing it out now generally i do like my concealers a little warmer but that's okay 
This wide dofa and being a hydrating concealer is what I love because I do not like a dry under eye. Um, also, with this concealer, I chose this shade because if I had to warm it up, it's not going to be a problem. And guess what? I know I have to warm it up. It may look a little too cool on camera, but I'm going to warm it with my setting powders. Now again, I'm a person that really don't like to bake, but I have to set this. You know off bat you have to set this because it advertises as a hydrating formula. Now, I'm going to go on record and say to me, you get a lot in here. This is like the largest concealer I have. And to be honest, you can probably get away with this as a foundation. Because I'm telling y'all, the shade range on this is immaculate. Like I said, the first color I picked up on this foundation was, on the concealer, was maple. And maple matched so well, I'm like, wait, this is the concealer. I want my concealer to highlight. If you want an everyday concealer, then you will go with that perfect match. But if you're a person that you just want to dab concealer with a beauty blend and beauty blender and get like a soft, flawless look, that would even work too. It melts right into the foundation where you don't see that heavy line of demarcation. Easy as Sunday morning. Okay, Jackie. See, that's what I'm saying. These brands need to collab with influencers more versus testing products wherever they test them at versus getting focus group. Make your focus group influencers because they know exactly what to look for. And I feel super highlighted and I haven't even set yet, but it's not a harsh highlight. So it is 2.35 a.m. here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I had my makeup done since four o'clock. It was 94 degrees, you all, today, and I've been in and out all day, and yes, I had to take my beauty blender and blot all day. But the good thing with this foundation is it did not smear, it did not move around. Now, if you are oily i don't know if this is going to work for you in the summertime even with a primer because some people still separate and some people you know still have their foundation that breaks down on them this foundation does not claim it's a mattifying foundation so that is very important to know combination oily and dry i think this is more so going to be your friend and even your oily if you do want to try it um you might want to hold off till the cooler months. And with that being said, check my pictures because I got in some good selfies and look like I was going this way. I'm here for it. I'm loving it. And good night, y'all. 